Hey guys, Penem here again, and today we have a video of an OCG opening that has been uh, somewhat long awaited. We have Flames of Destruction, the booster box. So this has 30 packs in it. Uh, there are no foils guaranteed per pack because this is Japanese. And also, um, these packs have fewer cards than the TCG ones. But this set is a great set, if I may say so myself. Uh, this is an incredible uh, set. It has a brand new hand trap for the uh, Ghost Sisters. Uh, there are also new archetypes in the Troy Mare and the um, Element Sabers in here. Those are pretty good. Uh, there is also a brand. Uh, there are also new um, legacy supports. Um, like a new battery man, uh, we have some new tin dangles, we have a, one new mech knight, uh, we have new trick stars, new gokies, we have new cybers cards, we have so many things in this set, it's a very, very good set. There we go with the booster box art. And here we have, I think this is, yeah, this is the list of the cards in this set, I believe. Um, and this is uh, just the artwork on top. I like those Japanese boxes. They have those little things on the side which are not included in the uh, TCG booster boxes. It's just that when you open them on video, it kind of hi uh, hides the stuff behind, you know. But yeah, um, so basically we are looking for cards like Element Sabers. Uh, we're looking for, um, I would be interested in seeing the new Battery Man card. Um, there is obviously the card on top of the box. I believe the name is Topologic uh, Trisbaena. And uh, yeah, that is the card on top. If we could get that as an ultimate or a ghost, that would be insanely awesome. And we are also looking, and really for my collection mostly, uh, we are looking for... Uh, Yashiki Warashi, which is the new ghost girl, which affects the graveyard. Uh, it's basically Ash Blossom, but for the grave instead of the deck. Obviously, the new trick stars are interesting, and there are others, um, other new cards that are pretty cool too. But those are the main uh, pulls we're looking because this is mostly for collecting and not for uh, playing. So let's start off. Uh, if we could get a secret rare of Warashi, and if we could get um, any of the top card, Topologic, uh, that would be very awesome. Uh, I won't go into details for the effects and everything, because uh, last time I did that, the video took uh, quite a while to finish, and so I'm just gonna try to go with what I remember from most of the cards. So this, I believe, is one of the new Troy Mares. Uh, no, this is Transfamiliar, pardon me. So we have Transfamiliar, we have the new uh, Battery Man, Solar Battery Man. This is actually pretty good, I believe uh, the deck needs this to actually do anything uh, interesting right now. We have, oh, what is this? Uh, this is Element Saber Nalu. So these are the new Element Sabers. They look good. They look pretty darn good. I'm trying to focus my camera. Pretty good. Oh, we have a sheep. Number 35 of the set is Boy Cotton. So it's like boy cutting, but with cotton. And it's, it's cute. It has like 100% real cotton on it. And our first rare is, I believe this is also an Element Saber. Um, number 20 is Element Saber Makani. That's pretty cool. They have some cool artwork, those Element Saber cards. And they work with, obviously, the attributes, so that is something that takes us back to a, a long while ago. I think in the GX era, or the end of the uh, Dual Monsters era, new monsters came out with effects depending on uh, what elements you had on the field. So that is interesting. Next pack. Oh, we have uh, the new uh, Mech Knight. Uh, basically, it's... Basically, the guy from the World Chalices, but he got boosted up to a 2000 attack uh, light monster, basically. And uh, yeah, it's pretty strong. It doesn't have any affinities with Mech Knights, except that it's it's got Mech Knight in its name, so I guess the field spell would boost it. And 
if it's in a column and you have your uh, continuous spell or traps, you would get your, your effect, you know. But it doesn't really have much affinity with the monsters. We have another element saber. Uh, this one is number 23. It's Lapa Huila. Uh, Huila. That's pretty cool. I like. I really like the uh, look on those guards. We have a new Goki. Uh, this Goki's name is Octostretch. Yeah, understandable. I mean, it's got an octopus and it's, it looks like it's stretching or something. We have, uh, what is this? This looks pretty cool. Uh, the name is World Legacy Nightmare. Wow. I like the artwork on that. And, ooh, we have our first Link monster. Uh, number 45 of the set is Troymare Cerberus. So Troymares and Element Sabers are the two main uh, archetypes, the new new archetypes of the set. And both of them are pretty interesting. Troymares are basically uh, possessed versions of what World Chalices were. And Element Sabers are basically just gods of elements or something like that. It's pretty interesting. We have uh, number 28 from this set, which is Watchcat. We have uh, the this uh, number thirty from the set is Outroll of the Haunted Sea. That's interesting. Oh, we have a new Trickstar. Uh, Trickstar is number seven from the set. Trickstar Mandrake. We have uh, an Altergeist trap, I believe, and our first foil. Ooh, nice. Uh, this is number thirty-two. Thirty-two from the set. Tiamaton, the Steel Battalion Dragon. Since it's our first foil, while I'm sleeving it up, I'll, I will read you guys the effect. Uh, so basically, it uh, cannot be normal summon set. Must be special summon by its own effect. Uh, if three or more cards are in the same column, uh, this is a quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only use this effect of Tiamaton, the Steel Battalion Dragon, once per turn. If this card is special summoned, destroy all other cards in this card's column. Unused zones in this card's column cannot be used. Okay, so use this in an artifact deck. And if you have an artifact face down and your opponent has two cards in that zone, it is a quick effect to special summon it. And once, once it's special summoned, you destroy your own artifact. So basically it's during your opponent's turn, so it gets special summoned and uses its effect. And you blow the two cards in your opponent's zones. That is pretty interesting. It is very situational, especially since your opponent needs to have uh, his zones or her zones filled. But it is interesting, and you could always use tokens to fill up your opponent's zones. So, I guess that is one of the strategies for that monster. But it is our first foil, and it is a ultra rare, so that's pretty cool. Over here, we have another Link monster. Uh, I think this is a... is that a Goki? No, that can't be right, is it? No, that is Space Insulator. I knew it wasn't a Goki, it didn't have a face like Gokis usually do. We have another trick star, uh, this is the one star trick star. It is named Trickstar Nightshade. This I believe is very good to make those Link monsters. Here we have another Element sab uh, Saber. This is number 22 of the set. We have Element Saber Maloho. This is based on, if I'm not wrong, this should be based on Hawaiian uh, culture, this one specifically. But they all seem to have names that resemble uh, Hawaiian stuff. We have uh, a Gauki card, uh, number 56 of the set, which is Goki Face Turn. And... We have, oh, that is nice artwork. So this is basically when um, Ib got, like, possessed or something. Number 73 of the set is World Legacy Echo. That's cool, it's a counter trap. You never have too many counter traps in your arsenal. Remember those wise words. Next pack. We have, uh, what the heck is this? Number 11 is Defrag Dragon. That is, that looks like a Raid Raptor more than a dragon, but okay. 
we have the new bit monster, um, Protron. Eh, it's pretty generic. One star, 100, 100. It actually is a little sad. We have one of the new Gaukis, uh, Goki, um, Hugbear. We have, uh, what, another one of those Element Saber traps, I believe. And we have, oh, we have a secret rare Goblin card. Okay, so we got a secret rare, which means that we probably will not see, uh, the, the one I wanted as a secret, but hey, this is good looking. What is this? This is Troy Mare Goblin. Look at that. Troy Mare Goblin. It looks weird, I guess. But you know, it is supposed to be about nightmares, so. Eh, it looks pretty cool. Let's read its effect just to make sure we got something pretty good. I believe it was meant. To, uh, it was mentioned previously that it was good. Uh, you need two monsters with different names to make it. If this card is Link Summoned, you discard. Uh, you can discard one card. Apply this effect, and if this card was co-linked when this effect was activated, you can draw one card. Once applied during your main phase this turn, you can normal summon one monster to your zone. This card points to, in addition to your normal summon set. Neither player can target your co-linked monsters with card effects. It's, it's not bad. It's like um, you discard to normal summon a second time and you protect your stuff. That's not bad. I'm not a big... Uh, I, I don't know too much about Troy Mares, but that does allow you to go into your bigger uh, monsters, I guess. But yeah, we got our secret rare already. This means that we probably won't get another secret, so... Our um, our hand trap, uh, Yashiki Warashi, is probably only going to be a super if we get her at all. So we have this little little, little thing, which is uh, Altergeist Pixiel. We have, uh, oh my god, what is this? Uh, this is Background Dragon. We have over here uh, Link Streamer. We have, uh, wow, this looks good. This is another World Legacy trap. Uh, this card's name is World Legacy Awakening, and our next foil is... Ooh, this is a very good-looking Element Saber card. Uh, what is its name? Trying to find it. Element Saber Willard. I'll sleeve it up and read you guys its effect. I believe this is a staple in the deck, actually. Uh, you can send two other monsters from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. You can only use this effect of Element Saber Willard once per turn. Apply the appropriate effect to Element Saber and Elemental Lord monsters you control. Depending on the original attributes of the Element Saber monsters sent to the graveyard to activate this card's effect. Or Earth or Wind, uh, they cannot be destroyed by battle. Water or Fire, they cannot be destroyed by card effects. Light or Dark, your opponent cannot target them with card effects. Huh, so if you send, let's say, a Earth and a Water, uh, you could protect them from battle and card effects, which is pretty good. Nice looking Ultra. Love the artwork of the foils we have in this set. Up to now, they have been uh, very good looking. Like the details on those monsters, very good looking. Oh, we have one of the new Trick Stars. Uh, this one only needs one material, so it's pretty useful at this point. Uh, this one's name is uh, Trickstar Bloom. We have uh, Element Saber. Um, this one is the Earth one. It's Element Saber Aina. We have this little bunny looking thing, which is a uh, Prompt Horn. Okay. We have another uh, World Legacy spell, and we have Trickstar. Uh, wow, what's her name? Uh, Trickstar Shakunage. Shakunage. Eh, it looks decent. Looks cute. Rares go over there. Next pack. Uh, I'll have to stop naming all the commons because uh, this has been taking a long time and we are not even halfway through these 30 packs. So um, we'll try to go a little faster. This is a preview, but I could put in the description uh, box below the link to the wikia page uh, for this list that I am reading to you guys. 
So we have this uh, nightmarish looking monster. I believe this should be a Tindangle. This should also be a Tindangle. Or a Troymare. This is just weird looking. What the hell is this? I, I gotta check what this is. This is Yari, uh, Yaji Rovader. Yari Jovader. Oh, we got a foil. Nice. And we got a rare. Oh, we got a foil and a rare in this time. So this foil is probably an Altergeist card? Nah, that can't be right. Network Trap Hole. It's a new Trap Hole. Nice. We got the new Trap Hole. Let's see what it does. Uh, when your opponent special summons a monster from the deck and or graveyard, banish that monster face down. Ooh, this is mean. I like it. I like it. Use those in tricks, uh, in trap tricks and basically that and uh, bottomless, you got yourself covered from a lot of things. It's sad though because it doesn't say extra, like it says deck or graveyard. We got another one of those Aina, we got uh, Trickstar, we got those Outrolls, we got another Super. Uh, this should be a Troy Mare actually. Uh, 47 of the set is Troymare Unicorn. I'll read its effect quickly later, and we have uh, the new Trickstar field. That's cool. And I believe this was the field for the Element Sabers. So um, we'll just read the foils from now on. This is two up monsters with different names for a Link 3. You could use that Troymare, normal summon another monster, and make this. Uh, if this card is Link Summon, you can discard one card, then target one card on the field, shuffle it into the deck. Then, if this card was co-linked when this effect was activated, you can draw one card. You can only use this effect of Troymare Troy Unicorn once per turn. While a co-linked Troymare monster is on the field, draw equal uh, draw cards equal to the number of those monsters with different names instead of one for your normal draw during your draw phase. Interesting. Uh, to say the least, I guess. It is interesting. Do not know how that will fare, because uh, it has to survive an opponent's turn, and it's only got 2200 attack, and no effects during your opponent's turn. But, you know, maybe the Troy Mares have some special support that I do not know much about. Next pack, we got another one of those uh, Element Sabers. Element Saber again. Goki. Uh, ooh, this looks like, uh, a sad, sad story. Damn. Uh, I gotta know the name. This is Resistance Against the World Legacy. And we have this little mole thing. Okay, mole thing is named, uh, Pint-Sized Priest, uh, Hidaruma, I believe. If I remember correctly, it should be something Priest Hidaruma. Next pack, we got another one of those prompt horns, another one of those cyberspace things, Goki Bear Hug. We have a super rare, uh, number 26 of the set. This should be an element saver, right? Uh, number 26 is uh, Forso, Forso Rage, Forso Rage, the Elemental Lord. That is interesting. And we have, oh, we have the Quick Play Trickstar card. This is for uh, attack manipulating, I believe, or something like that. I'm not quite sure anymore. Uh, we have this guy which does um, cannot be normal summon set, must be special summon from your hand by having exactly 5 light monsters in your graveyard. When this card is special summon, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls. You can only use this effect of Forsage, uh, Forsarage, the elemental lord, once per turn. If this face up card leaves the field, skip the battle phase of your next turn. So it has its upsides and it has its downsides. Uh, Okay, I'll put it there. Going out of space already. We have one secret, two ultras, and three supers. I believe we should expect maybe two more ultras and a couple more supers. And maybe an ultimate, maybe a ghost. That would be great. We have that cat thing, got the tin dangle, we got this, the cybers thing. We got, oh, this is new. This seems like it is a, an equipped spell for the um, Elemental Lords. And we have, oh my god, what is that? This looks like little gadget things. Number 49 of the set. 
This is Wind Up Maintenance Zen Micon. Nice. So this is the new support for uh, uh, wind ups or wind ups or however you guys pronounce them. I believe this is the second to last pack on the right side. The left side is going to go uh, a lot faster than the right side because this has been taking a lot of time. I am sorry guys. I do not know enough about this these cards so I have to read sometimes. I really do apologize for that. We have another one of those Met Knights uh, cards. We have the Trickstar, we have the Dragon thing, we have, this is kind of new, a new counter trap for fish or water cards. And we have, uh, this is I believe a DD card, uh, number three. We have, oh no, this is Backup Operator. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. That is just like a Backup Secretary, but a little different. Like the effect is a little more useful, I believe. But it, I believe it's also a little more uh, situational. Just a tad more. So we have another one of those uh, Element Sabers. We got Battery Man again. We got the um, Protron. We got, oh, this is new. That's cute. Is that a bunny on top of a horse? That's a new Fabled card, right? Uh, Rapid Red Haired Mare. It's not even a Fabled. What? Oh, this is a card that special summons itself pretty fast. That's good. Uh, level 5 that special summons easily. Oh, and we have the new Vampire card. Vampire Suck. Uh, this card was hyped a bit, and uh, the name is Vampire Suck, or Vampire Sucker. Uh, depends on how you pronounce it, I guess. Uh, for a new Vampire card, this card is interesting, but it is also a generic zombie link monster. And it has two, arrow, uh, two arrows pointing down, so very good and interesting card. Um, when this set will come out in the TCG, it will also be the last set of the Vendred, because usually TCG um, ex exclusives are four packs in a row. So maybe we're going to get some very cool stuff in here when it hits the TCG. First pack of the left side. We got that Tindangle Artergeist card. I don't remember which one it is. We got that weird... I, I really do not know how to call this. We have, uh, oh, that looks like a new Element Saber. Uh, 24. 24 is Element Saber Molehu. We have uh, this thing. And we have, oh, that's probably a Troy Mayor, actually. 46 is Troy Mayor Phoenix. Nice. So it's got an arrow upwards and sideways. That's cool. We got another link, too. So we are not stuck with that goblin. Like, you know, if you don't have enough money to get all those goblins, secret rares. Another one of those Malehus. Uh, that little cat from the beginning of the opening. Trickstar. Oh, nice. So we got this. Uh, this is a card that has been announced as a promo over here first. And the name is Called by the Grave or a Designator of the Grave or something like that. And uh, this is basically anti-hand trap quick play spell. Very cool. So this is good. Oh, and we have a foil in the same pack. Nice. So we got the card on top of the booster box. We got uh, Topologic, uh, what, whoa, what's the name again? Uh, topologic uh, Trisbaena. Nice. This is one great card. Like, honestly, very powerful Link monster. It's a Link 3. You need two or more effect monsters. If a monster is special summoned to a zone this card points to, banish that monster and as many spells and traps on the field as possible. And if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each of their cards banished by this effect. So basically, scapegoat, you make with scapegoat one link spider and one proxy dragon. Use those to make this. And then you use the last token to make another link spider over here. And boom, you banish all spells and traps on the field, including field spells and everything like that, and you deal 500 damage to your opponent for each. And 2500 attack beat stick is still pretty good, and you have that one little guy over there that you could use to make some other combos, you know. So this is insanely good. Uh, honestly, very happy we got it. It would have been lovely as a ghost or as a um, uh, ultimate, but ultra is already something. We have one secret, three ultras, and... Three supers. So I believe we still have quite a few things to look forward to. Maybe no more secrets, 
which is kind of sad because secrets uh, were what we were hoping for the most. But hey, you win some, you lose some. Sometimes you just got to try. We have another one of those uh, guard things, guard dragon things. We have another one of those altergeists. Uh, again, altergeist, I guess. We got this counter trap, which I do not remember seeing before. Uh, number 68, interesting. We have Red Reboot and ooh, the Trickstar, um, number 40. Is that Bella something? Uh, Trickstar uh, Delphindium. Delphindium. That's cool. It's basically got the same arrows as uh, um, Decode. So that is interesting. You can do a lot of combos with that many arrows uh, pointing everywhere. There we go. Next pack. We got another one of those octopus alien things. Another one of those uh, cyber things. Uh, Tindangle? Uh, oh, what is this? This looks like that thing in the anime where there's a data storm. And we have another element saber card, I believe. I think this is one of those. Number 75. Uh, 75 is Dark Lord Divinity. Whoops, that is not an element saber. That is actually, if I look closer, yes, it does look like a angel uh, fallen from above. Like, it could be a Dark Lord, yeah. Damn. I did good to actually look up the name before saying too much uh, false information. Next pack, another one of those Malahus. Uh, the cat, the Protron, that card. This looks a lot like uh, the, the, the card where the person doesn't like its gift. This is Mamemaki. And we have this thing that I've never seen before. Uh, number 43, Troy Mayor Mermaid. Oh, it's a Link 1. That's good. That is good for this deck. Wow. I believe they needed one of those Link 1s, and this is probably easy to summon at this, at this point. Troy Mares seem to be better and better. I believe also there there is one foil that is very needed, like at least a few times for the deck. We haven't pulled it yet, but uh, that would be good. And, ooh, we got an Altergeist Super, uh, 14 in this set. The name is Altergeist Multifaker. Multifaker. And we have, oh, this is a World Legacy card, I believe. We'll just give this card a read first. If you activate a trap card, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned, you can special summon one Altergeist monster from your deck in defense position, except Altergeist Multifaker. You cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate this effect, except Altergeist monsters. Okay, you can only use each effect of Altergeist Multifaker once per turn. That's not bad. It actually is not bad. It's good, but it doesn't have good stats, so if it doesn't survive your opponent's turn, well, you're gonna get hit pretty hard in the face. And this is World Legacy World Lance. I guess it does look somewhat like a lance, like if this rod actually continued, it would be more obvious, but yeah, take what you can. So we have another one of those supers. There we go. Next pack. I don't remember if Japanese sets have more than one secret. For some reason, I think they don't. Uh, but we seem to have pulled quite a few foils already, like three ultras, uh, four supers and one secret. Yeah, that is quite a lot already. We have, oh, this is uh, the follow-up to Arrival Rival, I believe. Uh, number 64 in this set. This is intriguing, actually. I really want to read this. It's uh, Stare Down. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. And you just see her sad in the back. That's actually cute. It's funny. And we have, oh, we have the new uh, card, just like uh, Mrs. Mistar and... Uh, do a little. This is the new card for that uh, type of play, and the name is Great Fly. So this basically boosts the attack of your wind monsters, lowers the uh, stats of what monster? I think it should be, um, it lowers the stat of earth monsters, and when it's destroyed by battle or card effect, you get to recycle a wind from your graveyard. 
So when this comes over here, if you're still playing those, um, what you call them, those draw and lock birds, you could recycle them, which is good. Next, we have another one of those Gauki stretch, uh, Goki stretchers, Goki uh, bear hugs, uh, that horn thing. Oh, we have a new uh, code card. That's cool. And, ooh, what is this? Number 58. We have World Legacy Inheritor. Interesting. Come on, foils. We need more awesome foils. Give us the Warashi. Cybers. Uh, okay, that dragon thing, the altergeist, and yes, we have our Warashi! Nice! I love it. Uh, I would have preferred it as a secret rare, but we got it, and that's all that matters at this point. We got Yashiki Warashi. And uh, a little side note, it is number 33, which used to be the number of Ghost Ogre in her original set. Um, Ash Blossom, if I remember correctly, is not the same number. Same goes for um, Cherries. So this is like a little wink at the first one coming out, which is actually kind of fun. Uh, when a card or effect is activated that includes any of these effects, you can discard this card, negate that in the activation, and it's a quick effect. Uh, add a card from the graveyard to the hand, deck, or extra deck. Special summon from the graveyard, or banish a card from the graveyard. You can only use this effect of Yashiki Warashi once per turn. She's a zombie earth tuner. So she goes with the other two zombies, and uh, she does have her actual value. This is not bad. And our rare is another Troy Mare uh, Phoenix thing. So nice, we got our Yashiki Warashi. We got our pro, uh, our topologic uh, Trisbaena. And we got our designator from the grave. Or our call from the grave, whatever the name is. So uh, that's not bad. I mean, this is like... 10 to 20 dollars this is a 20 to 30 dollars so uh not bad the secret rare or goblin i believe is also a, a about 10 to 20 dollars if i remember correctly it might have changed we have uh, another one of those mech knights we have oh we have the new uh denko seka card uh seka draw something that i it's number 62 in the set um Light of Seca. This allows you to draw, but you can't do something in exchange. And we have another one of those Element Saber win cards. Nice. Next pack. Still hoping maybe we can get a second secret. I doubt it happens in Japanese sets. Here in the TCG it does, so maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, we're still looking for one Ultra, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, maybe one or two more Supers. Solar, we got another Super, and it's the Goblin. So we got the goblin as a super and as a secret. Okay, why did this not happen to Warashi? Do not know, but eh, we got another one, I guess, so we can't complain. And we got another one of those, um... Uh, is that a Troy Mare? Yeah, I think this is a Troy Mare. 45 in the set is Troy Mare Cerberus, right? Forgot about that guy for a bit. It was one of our first rares, actually. So there, we will put it in the back with the other goblin, the secret rare goblin. Next pack, so uh, maybe expect one or two more foils, if we're lucky we should at least get an ultimate. We have another one of these, <laughs> another one of those weird things, the, the outros, that tentangle thing I guess, because it looks like a triangle, and the um, world legacy thing uh, where she's, I think it's resisting? No, resisting is the one where she stabs herself. Um, I kept I keep forgetting the names and I've just read it. Darn. Next pack. We're almost done, guys. Uh, this has been a very long opening, and I'm quite sorry about that, but it's been very interesting. And one of those world legacy uh, field spells and trickstar. Uh, that's the one with the, the long name, right? The number eight from the set is uh, Tristar Shakunage. So we have three packs left. Come on, we need more foils. Come on, Heart of the OCG cards. Give it to us. Give us a second secret just for the fun of it. Or give us an ultimate rare, come on. We have an ultimate rare, and it's Goki. 
Okay, we got a Goki Ultimate. Number 41. Um, Goki the Master Ogre. So we got an Ultimate Rare. I will read you guys the summoning conditions pretty soon. It's a Link 4. And it says two and or more Goki monsters to Link summon it. Once per turn, quick effect, you can return any number of your Goki monsters this card points to to the hand. Then target that many face-up cards your opponent controls. They have their effects negated until the end of this turn. This card can attack all your opponent's monsters uh, once each. If your opponent controls a face-up monster, this card can only target their monster with the highest attack for attacks, either if tied. Okay. 2800 attack. It looks good as an ultimate rare, but obviously Topo Logic would have been much more interesting. But this is a good looking ultimate. We'll put it over here. You know what? It looks better if you put the two links on the sides. So we have two packs left. Maybe one more foil. Will we see a ghost rare? Will we see our final super, final ultra? Maybe, maybe not. Will we see a second secret because of a weird packaging scheme in the OCG? Who knows? Stay tuned. We got nothing, but that is still a field spell for Element Savers. That's cool. And our final pack of the opening. Will we see magic here tonight? Come on, foil. OCG heart of the cards. Come on. God of the OCG trading cards. Give it to us. Give us some magic for our final pack. McKnight and... Ah, oh, we got the Mole Priest. Jeez, okay, well, this wasn't a bad opening. It wasn't exceptional, but it wasn't bad either. For our really quick recap, because this has been going on for a while, um, I'll just take these really quickly. There we go. So we have uh, Yashiki Warashi, very cool a hand trap. We got her as a super. It would have been more interesting as a secret, but still lovable little goth ghost sister pretty cool and her effect is amazing we have this altergeist card that special summons itself that's pretty cool when you activate a trap we have this elemental uh god elemental lord pardon me uh this card is actually pretty strong we got um this troymare unicorn thing which is pretty interesting but you need to make it survive a turn we got this new trap hole, uh, which is not bad either. We got Topologic Trisbaina, which is the top card of the set. We got Elemental uh, Elemental Saber um, Willard, something like that, which is probably one of the best Element Saber cards. Uh, we got this uh, Battalion Dragon thing, uh, which is interesting if you get to summon it. We got uh, Troymare Goblin as a super and as a secret. Why did this not happen to our Warashi? I do not know, but it's still pretty cool. It will definitely go in the binder of Japanese cards. And for our ultimate rare, we got Goki the Master Ogre. Uh, so yeah, o overall, I'm not disappointed. We got some pretty interesting pulls. Uh, some of them will look good in binders. We also got uh, Designator... Uh, which is also a very good card, but we only got one of it in 30 packs. So I guess this is a short print. Uh, but yeah, we got Warashi, we got Topo Logic, we got some good looking other cards. In general, I'm not disappointed with this box. It was a decent uh, investment for collectors or for, uh, I guess, if you want to sell on the OCG market. Some of these cards are actually very good and uh, they have a lot of potential, especially Troy Mares and Elmen Sabres. Uh, there are some interesting cards for the Trick Stars, obviously, too, and some interesting cards for the Gokis. So if you guys want to boost those decks, that is also interesting. Once this comes to the TCG, I do believe that the Altergeist will also see a little more play, which is also very promising because they are spellcasters. A lot of support exists for them, and they do use a lot of traps. So that is an interesting thing to see with spellcasters. But... For now, this was the Flames of Destruction Booster Box opening. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Uh, you may also share the video with your friends because, you know, sharing is caring and a hobby is meant to be shared with people. Uh, if you also enjoyed the video, 
you can subscribe to the channel and you click that little bell button down below right there uh, so you will get notifications for whenever a new video comes out and finally you can leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for future vids or if you have any uh, opinions you want to share about this set uh, this is basically a hobby channel so feel free to share your opinions you know a hobby is meant to be shared as i mentioned earlier and there is a community around every little type of hobby so if you guys feel like the community should be better you should participate in the community and make it better by being in it you know so until next time guys i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you then penem out